I'm at the factory of Aussie Adventure Caravans and this is the brand new Dreamseeker F1. It's a van for two people, it's only 14 foot and it looks great. We're all hitched up, let's go see what this caravan's all about. Dreamseeker F1, you know, it tows really nicely. It's got an ATM of 2,700 kilos, which puts it fairly and squarely in the Prado category. So all you Prado owners out there, I reckon this is a good little option. This van is designed for off-road work, but I think you need to approach your off-road touring with some common sense. The cabin length of this van is only 14 foot, which I think makes it a really good length for, you know, bush tracks. Uh, you don't always want to have a really large van for your off-road touring, because let's face it, the larger the van, the harder it can be to get to some of the best remote campsites. Just pulled over on this beautiful country road, because I want to give the van a once over, just to make sure that everything's performing as it should. So the van does have off-road abilities, and as such, it's got the DA35 coupling, big mesh dome guard, which is so useful in this sort of terrain, 2.7 tonne tough ride suspension, and there's heaps of undercarriage protection too, which is just so important for an off-road caravan. Most vans will have a fresh water tap on the A-frame, but what I like about this is it's up high, it's protected, it's got a stone guard here, so that way it's not gonna get shot peen to pieces when you're out on the Udna Data track. What would a caravan be without a set of off-road tyres? The Dreamseeker F1's no different. In fact, it gets a nice set of mud terrains. Look, I'm a big fan of jerry can holders because you just never know when you're going to need that extra fuel or maybe even water when you're out in the bush. This van gets two jerry can holders as standard. That'll fit a couple of 20-litre cans, no problem. pulled up to secret bush camp number three and uh, look I just want to point out some of the features starting with that awning. Setting up this awning it just doesn't get any easier. I mean all you need is some juice in the batteries and this remote control. And once the awning's out it's just a matter of setting up the legs really easy. Honestly one of the easiest awnings to set up on the caravan market, I'd say. Check this out. This is where you're gonna have your happy hours. Slide our kitchen at the front of the van, web and cue standard with a sink. I reckon this would come in very, very handy. Once you've done, you've had your barbecue. It's just a matter of disconnecting the gas line and the water, of course. And in it goes. Considering this is, you know, a 14 foot caravan, this tunnel boot is just massive. Let me show you. You see what I mean, don't you? I mean, this is a large tunnel boot. Of course, a caravan such as this, it really needs an outdoor entertainment box. This one works a treat. Bring the TV out, plug it straight in, away you go. Just behind this mesh stone guard, you've got your storage for your gas cylinders and, of course, slide-out generator tray. Just a couple other features that I wanted to point out at the back of the van. The Safety Dave reversing camera, the LED light bar, obviously that's going to make backing up the van just a heck of a lot easier. And look, you really can't go past the Dometic aircon on the roof, can you? You've got your obligatory corner stabiliser, of course, quick drop unit. And down here, 220 amp hour AGM batteries fed by a couple of 150 watt solar panels on the roof. And that's all managed by the BM Pro, which is a really good unit. And you can see what's going on thanks to the Trek digital display inside. You know, I really like these uh, wood textured bench tops. You'd swear that is genuine hard wood. And then there's that leather lounge. I mean, it looks really comfortable. It's got that stitching in it. And what do you think about the matte finish to the doors? Uh, quite different to the reflective glossy surface that you'll see in many caravans. You know, I really like it. It's a really smart caravan too. I mean, it's got RV, Wi-Fi, 12 volt charging points and USB charging points as well. Not just here, but throughout the van. Really classy tapware. I love this big mirror. It really adds to the sense of space inside this caravan. And the fact that they've managed to fit a bathroom into this corner here, which by the way, has a real glass door. I mean, to me, that's really impressive. 
there's a certain sophistication about this van. It's the wow factor, isn't it? Everything from the decor to the way the layout comes together. You wouldn't believe that this is a 14 foot caravan when you step inside. There's so much storage here. I mean, there's a bathroom, a washing machine, and this mattress, this isn't an inner spring mattress like you'll find on most caravans. This is a genuine pillow top mattress. I mean, this is really comfortable. I can see two people really living well inside this caravan. This layout is super livable. It doesn't feel cramped. It feels surprisingly spacious. Let's not forget, this is a 14 footer, guys. 